Hey guys, Moan Pobert here and today I'm going to share with you how to build a 10 million dollar business in 90 days or less. Um, so that's what I'm going to share with you in the video today. I Stay with me, I'm probably not going to take more than 20-30 minutes, let's see how long it's going to take. I want to share with you everything I can about what I've done to create a big, big business very fast and now, now I'm going to take things to the next level with step number one. So let me share with you about the idea overall, so how that looks like. The idea is to find a buyer and when I'm saying buyer I'm talking about big big business I'm talking about most likely a public company a private equity a large firm who is looking to buy other business and grow their business like that by acquisitions now when those big companies are looking to buy businesses they are willing to pay very high multiples and it means that if you can be the middleman there, the deal maker, and create those ideas and, and opportunities for them, you can make a large amount of money very fast and create yourself capital events. I'm talking literally a few million dollars in a matter of a few weeks. Like I'm going to share with you how you can do this really, really fast. And again, I'm not. This is not for getting rich quick thing or anything like that. This is for people who are willing to work hard, who are willing to put in the time and effort. And if you're going to do that, those are the results that are possible. I'm talking to you as someone who's out there looking to buy businesses and doing deals. And this is the fastest way that I found to build wealth. And it's the most exciting and fun for people who like to be involved in the kind of like the, being the, the guys who are like the, like the art of the deal, who like the strategic uh, part of the business, who like to be the visionary, come up with ideas, researching stuff. And that's me, that's what I like to do. I like to go out there, research stuff, be the deal maker, uh, being involved with people many times. And I like to do something and move on to the next thing. I'm, I'm very ADD, I like to be involved in many things at the same time. And this is the best way that I found to, to literally give you um, a legit reason to be ADD and be involved in many different at the same time. Because you can do a deal here really fast, make a lot of money and then continue to do uh, everything else. Now you don't need experience in that or experience in business or anything like that to begin with it you just need the the passion the commitment the the, the the work and obviously to understand the strategy and how that even works so and just about me for a few seconds on who, who am i to even teach you this stuff right so if you don't know me yet my name is moan Bober. i've been in different businesses over the last 10 years um over the last years i'm in the space of buying businesses i'm looking to invest and buy businesses i, I bought an app company that turned it around to become one of the top 100 app in the app store uh, that was a huge success but over the last years i also helped many others and helped them in terms of finding deals negotiating on deals being involved in their deals in terms of partners many times i'm talking looking at hundreds of deals literally i probably looked at thousands of deals over the last few years and i'm talking about legit businesses i'm talking about businesses doing at least one million one million a year in sales i'm not talking about small hobbies or small e-commerce stores i'm talking about legit profitable established businesses i probably looked at thousands of businesses and i have a lot to say about those businesses but i mean heck some of my students i have a, a guy who bought more than 30 businesses i did more than 30 deals i have a guy who did more than three deal three deals in less than a year and i'm talking about each of those businesses, like I said, is doing at least a million a year in sales. Plus, they have a management team in place running the day-to-day -day for them. And they used other people's money to buy these businesses. So that's kind of like my, my main focus. At the same time, the strategy I'm going to share with you today is what really gets me excited over the last uh, few months. And I'm going to share with you a deal that I've done. And how are we going to take things to the next level right now with this uh, process? So I really want to, uh, I guess, really clarify things for myself and for you guys and i just want to see how that's going to work if you guys like that don't like it maybe you just wanted me to go back to the the old stuff of just buying one business at a time here there's a way for you to literally buy a few businesses at once and then sell them immediately for a large amount of money uh, some of you guys might say hey i don't want to do that i just want to have nice established businesses that are running bringing me consistent cash flow this is not the case in here you can do nice deal and i'm talking taking few million dollars in cash after taxes to your bank account really really fast but it's not about consistency so if you care more about the certainty of having your next uh, monthly paycheck uh, this is probably not for you this is for people who like uh, i guess the excitement and the, it's a bit risky because you can spend some time but not get a deal going but if you're going to get a deal going here guys i mean heck one deal is a lot of money trust me so how that works how we create a 10 million dollar business in 90 days in a nutshell, the way it works is this. You find a buyer who's looking to buy $10 million business and you create that for them. You basically merge 
other sellers, other business owners and create that for them. And then you are the person who's, I guess, arranging everyone and then you're taking a large percentage from that. And like I said, if you're selling something for $10 million, heck, if you, even if you have 20% of that, that's $2 million in cash that you can put in, in your, to your bank account in a matter of a few short weeks. And when you start a business from scratch, I don't know many people who can take that amount of money in cash after taxes to themselves. Now, $10 million business, I'm talking revenues, not profits. Although same applies to businesses in profits, but I'm talking based on my experience on what's possible. So here's the way it works, right? We find a buyer, a big public company, for example, we're looking to buy other businesses and we get in touch with them and we tell them, hey, look, uh, what kind of businesses are you looking to buy? Are you looking to buy that amount of business? Okay, cool. And let, let me give you an example for what we're working on right now. There's a big company out there in the UK, a public company. We're looking to buy businesses. We're in touch with them. And they told us that they're looking to buy a business doing at least a million a year in, uh, in EBITDA. And they gave us the exact criteria, right? Uh, the sector, obviously, the, the location, what type of seller that they want, and, and all the involvement of what would be a good deal for them. So that's, they told us, hey, and let me just put it in the mark, the buyer, told us, hey, we want a business doing 1 million in profit, right? So we asked them, cool, you want 1 million in profit, how much are you willing to pay for that? They told us we're willing to pay 10 times. And that's $10 million deal here, right there, right? They're willing to pay 10 times for that. So the question is now, what can we do? What can we do with that? And in a nutshell, what we're doing and what I've done. So here, here's the process, how, we've, how even I got to this, this idea. So what I've done in the past is we took two businesses. And let me share with you the exact example. So they were two uh, media businesses. Uh, one of them was doing kind of like a social media uh, services for uh, clients, for businesses. And one of them was selling websites. So one of them is selling social media services. One of them is selling services, uh, website services. So what we did there is we combined, we basically went out to them, we tell them, hey, look guys, uh, as individuals, we, someone can buy your business for X, but if we combine your businesses together, we can probably get you much more than X. And I'll share with you an example for a second. That's how I got to even that idea. I told them, look, I can help you with those two businesses. I can help you with merging your accounts, with cross-selling between businesses. So for example, let's say we find one business doing like those ones we did. One is them is doing social media. One of them is selling websites. The social media guys, they have a list of clients and services, right? The website guys, they have a list of clients and a service in their case, selling websites. When you merge those two businesses together under one roof, under one company, you can basically have lots of cross-selling opportunities. So you can sell those services to those clients and those services to those clients. And that's a lot of upside that you can have just by doing cross-selling. And also uh, there's come uh, what we call synergies. So for example, in their case, they were in the same location, same city. And what we told them, hey, let's put you in the same office and then we can save costs on, on rent, for example, right? On, on office space. Same with departments. Let's say one business have a, a marketing department, operation department, sales department, finance department. We don't need those duplications in both of those businesses. We can just keep one of them. And that's a lot of cost savings that we can put. And me and my team, we basically told them, hey, look, we're going to help you with all the integration, all the financials, consolidating the accounts, all the legal stuff, everything needed. And plus, obviously, we had some more value to add, but we told them, hey, let's do that. And we're going to take 33% of the combined group. And that's how this idea came into mind. I'm going to share with you in a second. But the idea is basically, hey, I'm going to come into your business and I'm going to take a percentage from the combined business because I can bring in some value, right? And let's bring us to this idea, which in, in this case, we can find, let me take the red one, we can find a few businesses, merge them together. Let's say we have business one, business two, business three, business four. We can tell them, hey, let's create a new entity, bring, bring all of you guys here and create this new larger entity. And the fifth shareholder is going to be me because I can bring in some value. So that's the idea here. And that's how we can build a really, really large business really fast. So the way it works, again, bring us back to the strategy, is we find a buyer, in our case, a business, on, a business that's willing to pay 10 times multiples on a business doing 1 million in profit. Now, obviously, those are legit businesses. They, they know their shit, right? They know their job. So in their case, they probably know every business out there doing those amounts. But the beauty with those large businesses, or maybe not the beauty, but the idea that to do a, one, a $10 million business deal for them will take them the same amount of time as if it's to do a business only doing 
250,000. Right? It will take them the same amount of time and effort and probably um, in terms of resources, accountants, lawyers, all that stuff, will take them probably the same amount of money to do a deal like that and a deal like that. So they immediately, they're not even dealing with those small deals. They don't even care about them. They immediately go to those big deals. But for someone like us, for someone like you, if you understand the opportunity, you can basically go and say, hey, they know all those businesses in this area, but they maybe know about those ones, but they don't care about them. So what I'm here to tell you to do is that, and that's what I'm doing, is I'm here to build them this business from those small ones. And I hope that makes sense. I'm basically taking, so in our case, we want a $1 million business in profit. It means we only need four of those small ones. And then we build that business. And I'm talking profits, right? We're talking profits, EBITDA, earning before taxes. This one, I'm not talking about sales. Those businesses in the sector that we're looking at, they're doing 1 million in profit. They're doing around 10 million in revenues, right? This one, probably doing around 250, uh, sorry, 2.5, 2.5 million in sales. Big difference, guys. For those of you who don't have business experience, you know there's a, the, you probably don't even understand the difference, but I hope you understand the, the difference between revenues and profits, right? So here, the big business want to buy a business doing 1 million in profit, they're doing around 10 million in revenues. And we are telling, our plan is, hey, let's build them that business really fast. Let's find four businesses doing 250 in profit, doing 2.5 million in sales each, and combine them together. Let's find four of those businesses and those are our four businesses. And that's us. That's us as the deal maker. Let's take four of them, put them together under one roof to create a business doing 1 million profit and 10 million in, in revenues. And that's how you can create a business doing the amount that they want in a matter of a few weeks. Now, how we do that? We basically go and find the small businesses and we tell them, hey, look, I can buy... Me personally, when I'm going to those businesses, I'm presenting myself as a business buyer, as an investor. And I'm telling them, hey, look, I can buy your business separately. I'll probably pay you. So here's how it works, right? The big business is willing to pay, we said, 10 times multiples, right? That's the amount that they're willing to pay. I can go to the small guys and tell them, hey, look, I'll pay you separately for each of your business, maybe three times. That's what I'll pay you. And I'm not... I'm not changing any, I mean, that's a, that's a very fair price for the industry I'm talking about. We're not talking about tech companies, we're talking about um, boring industries, right? So we're telling them, hey guys, I'm going to pay you three times multiples. If I'm going to buy you outright, 100%, just me and you. Or we can do this. I tell them, hey, come and join me for a group. I'll create the group. I have the buyer, which I already have. Let's create this group and let's sell all of this for six. So your three is not going to worth six. And those are big, big differences, guys. A business doing 200,000 in profit, instead of getting 600,000, is now going to get almost two million, right? That's a big, big difference for those guys. And I'm sorry, not six, in our case, 10. But when, when you negotiate with the small buyers, it's better to, I guess, come with low expectation, tell them, hey, look, I'll buy you separately for three, but come and join me for this group and I'll probably be able to get you six. Trust me, when you'll be able to give them 10, that's a no-brainer, right? So you bring everyone together, everyone, you bring them together, and now there, is our, there are amazing things that you can do. There are a few options. You can either take, so you bring, you only need like four businesses, right? If we want a $1 million business, we only need four different businesses doing 250000 each. Right, so we bring one, two, three, four businesses doing 250,000 each. That's basically creating our $1 million business. Then we have a few options. We can either take equity in the combined group or we can just play the differences. So we can get an agreement with the small business saying, hey, you know what? I'm buying your business. I want to pay you three times. And I'm not even mentioning the group even. I'm telling you, hey, look, I'll buy your business for three times. Let's have a contract in place. I'm buying you for three times. You can then go and sell it for 10 times and make the difference in the seven, seven EBITDA. I hope that makes sense, guys. That's a huge difference. So now you have a business. Let's say you combine those four businesses. You have a business with four businesses in it, right? Let me, let me make a, a new one for you. You now have a business 
So you have a buyer looking for 1 million in EBITDA, in profit, willing to pay you 10 million. Right? We got this. And we created the business that they want because we found out four different businesses doing 250, right? Which give us the 1 million. Now the beauty is we are only paying them three times because they are small businesses. So we're paying total of 3 million here. We're paying 3 million here. And how much we can sell it for? $10 million. You can make 7 million just for bringing everyone together. And how many people you need? Five people, guys. You need a buyer, right? That's the buyer. Obviously, there is work involved. You need to know how to find them, how to get in touch with them, how to talk to them, how to present yourself and position yourself. There's a lot involved, right? Obviously. Here, that's how you bring the sellers, right? You only need four, four different businesses. 250 each, which brings you 1 million. You offer them 3 million separately, obviously, each of those businesses separately, because they are small businesses. And the business, a business is worth... Uh, there are a few ways to value a business, but the simple way is multiples of profits. And the more profit a business has, the more someone will be willing to pay for it. In our term, in our case, in the specific industry that I'm working with, we're talking about three times multiples. That's a very fair uh, valuation that we're giving them. So we're willing to pay them three million, and we are able to sell it for ten million. We are basically the deal maker, the one who's bringing everyone together, the strategic guy, and we can make that difference. So I hope that makes sense. And obviously, here's a, a lot more involved as well. I mean. Obviously, you need to bring these people together. You need to know how to find those business owners. You need to know how to negotiate with those business owners. You need to know how to uh, consolidate the accounts and look at the financials and, and make sure that they even fit the criteria of these businesses in terms of culture, in terms of uh, the products and services and, and the owner and figure out if the owner is willing to stay or not. Maybe it's just, maybe just those owners want to exit as soon as possible and leave. But those buyers, they want an owner who's looking to stay in the business, right? So there are many things involved. But in the end of the day, this video, I want to open your eyes to what's possible. Guys, that $7 million that you can make from selling a business doing $10 million, $10 million in revenues. I mean, show me any process that can put that much money in, in your bank account that fast. And, and I mean, heck, I'll, I'll, I'll stop doing that. I mean, show me something else that can do more profits profits guys i'm talking profits and if you know how to um, arrange all your taxes and stuff like that you can take that after taxes so i mean show me something better i don't know i mean you can start a business from scratch to get to 10 million in revenues i don't know many businesses who got to 10 million in revenues that fast i'm not even talking about profits guys so that's what's possible um this is probably a little bit more advanced to those who don't know anything about business uh, but I hope that it's going to open your eyes to what's possible. I don't think that you need much experience, if any. You just need to know how to find five people. Convince five people. The buyer, you don't even need to convince the buyer. You just need to talk to the buyer and ask him, hey, what do you guys want? And then you need to talk to three, three business, uh, four business owners here. And I mean, heck, I mean, you're telling me, hey, I don't know what if they won't accept three times, three times multiples on my profit. Then offer them five. Then offer them six. You can sell the business for 10 million. You see how much room do you have for negotiations? Heck, even if you sell them, you sell the group for, for 9 million and you get 10. How much time do you think it's going to take you to talk to four people? You don't think it's worth it for $1 million in cash after taxes? I think it's a no-brainer and it's fun. I mean, you can be involved here in any sector that you want. I mean, you don't need to be specialized in any sector. And in many cases, you don't even need to own those businesses at all because you're just doing things on the paper with the legals and financials and contracts you don't need to you don't even need to own those businesses now what else i didn't even talk about the upsides that you can have from potentially creating the synergies in those businesses so let's say that you created this group and you now decide that you also want to have uh, help them in terms of saving money and doing cross-sell between services and clients like we mentioned before Guys, that's a lot of money. I can get into the details, but 
you can have at least 20 30 percent of growth in profits you can probably get it to three hundred fifty thousand dollars in profits really really fast and every difference here remember it's not just the difference in the 100,000 here 200,000 dollars there if you're having like a 20 percent growth in a business doing a million dollar that's talking about it means a, a lot of hundreds of thousands of dollars that you can add into your bottom line and that means that you have 10 times more profit when you sell the business remember guys every dollar that you take out of the business right now or that you are able to bring in profit right now into a business that's in our case 10 times multiples that you can take at exit so you need to think with yourself do i want to take that money right now every day as an income or dividends or am i happy to wait for the exit and take it as a multiple so i hope that opened your eyes to what's possible guys i remember when some of those things i first figured out i mean i was like oh man who who is even talking about starting a business why why did no one taught me this right and that's what i want to share with you that's what i want to open your eyes to to what's possible and the reason that i'm doing that is because i want to partner with some of you guys i know that some of you guys have access to some of those companies and have access to i guess some of you guys are in a geographic location that i i'm not in um so if you want to learn more about that about how to join my inner circle and work with me and my team obviously there's a lot involved here right in terms of uh, financials and accountants and lawyers and legals and, and obviously the negotiation strategies and making sure you position yourself right because when you're talking to those big businesses if you're making a mistake they won't talk to you anymore and you're basically going to burn yourself and same with those small businesses if you don't know how to position it right they're going to look at you like, like you're crazy maybe the, the way that some of you guys look at this right now you're telling me oh man it looks too crazy and too out of the blue right so i don't know but i know that for some of you guys who are serious they can really take things to the next level and if you want i'm happy that's that's what me i'm doing in my inner circle in my mentorship group i teach you this and many other strategies to do deals and i partner with some of you guys because i know some of you guys will want to be involved in something like that and then i don't mind sharing that kind of profit with some of you guys in a matter of a few weeks or a few months so i hope you enjoyed it if you watched it until now go to moanpober.com forward slash talk and see the details there get in touch with me and my team and we can potentially have a conversation to figure out if you're a fit to join my inner circle and my mentorship program and then we can work on deals like this and, and many others so yeah hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon